It's time yet again for another Whiskey Quickie. I know you've been waiting for it, so here we go. This is looking at Whiskey Gypsy. And you might be going, what the heck's Whiskey Gypsy? Well, it's because it's the first time that we've ever reviewed it's it. with a J. And it is. J-Y-P-S-I. And this is Whiskey Gypsy's Legacy Batch 001. So that means that they are... They're creating their legacy uh, right now. It, it's starting right now, and they plan at least having 999 releases if they're starting at 001. But this one's called The Journey. And this is co-founded by acclaimed musician and songwriter... Eric Church. So I guess, wow. I guess if you're a country music fan, you probably were like, "It's a hell of, hell of a view." I think that's what he's saying. Hell of a view. I have one of the songs. I got. I, you know, I don't listen to country music. I, I have know. no idea. Yeah, any glow sticks, Eric? Sorry. <laughs> and so, batch one is the result of combining three fine age whiskeys, and this is led by whiskey maker Ari Sussman. And Whiskey Gypsy is found and selected by the highest quality, fully matured spirits that express the individual grains and have a traditional bourbon mash bill and scientifically reconstructed the recipe resulting in a remarkable blend. So this is 70% of corn bourbon aged seven and eight years from Indiana. I'm guessing that's probably the 99 and one recipe if I had to yep. guess. 21% of Canadian rye that's okay. aged for 20 years and 9% of American single malt aged for four years. This okay. is bottled at 115 proof and has an SRP of $200. I do like that 20-year Canadian whiskey. Well, depending on where it's from. But, uh, we, might have, we might have some other stuff coming out with it at some point. Yeah. I think that's the best point. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, anyways, fascinating. On with the nose here. Let's go. I mean, I would say that 20-year kind of kicks in there a little bit. Yeah, there's this... Um, it's really a sweetness. Yeah, it's like a Starburst jelly beans kind of flavor. Wow. You know? Golly. Yeah, it's just like that rich confectionery sugar kind of notes. I mean, out. I wouldn't have pulled Starburst jelly beans out, but, like but when you say bright, it. Like fruitiness, too. Like, I can see it. I like it. I can see it. It's very confectionery. I want the taste. Hmm. It, that confection sugar is like all over that front and mid palate, and then it just. The, these nice bright fruit notes and then that oak kind of shines through on the mid palate and then that just kind of lingers into the back oh, man it's i like this it's a very mm -hmm. analytical way to put it i would say if you open up a bag of skittles and you put six of them in your hand and you throw them in your mouth that's what it tastes like yeah it's that really sweet decadent not decadent but candy like bright fruity candies man that's i like it that's you know really good job well done all right, let's go ahead and rate it. So on the nose, where are you at here? Thumbs up. I really liked it. And the taste? Thumbs up. I really liked it. And the finish? Thumbs up. I really liked it. I think it's, you know, it's one of those ones, you know, a celebrity's like, ah, but whoever he had behind this, they did a great job. I, I was about to say, this might be the first time we have ever given three thumbs up on a celebrity-backed whiskey. Yeah. This was really well done. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is, okay. We, we, we'll hold our, our grudges between celebrity back stuff for a while, but because this one kind of breaks the mold. Instead of hell of a view, Eric, this is a hell of a blend. There so, we go. That was so corny, but I had to do it. Yeah. Hopefully he sees it. Yep. With that, uh, that is our review of Whiskey Gypsy's batch one called The Legend. With that, cheers, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Toodles.